r slash ask reddit what is something that has aged well the word cool one of the few slang terms that survived for decades i remember back when i was i think middle school a teacher asked us all if people still say cool we all said yes it's still being used even now i still think it's a word most people of all ages use denim in general denim has true cool staying power but the tightness of denim fluctuates every 10 years or so. Lego. Even music I hated when it was new now sounds good because of nostalgia. Well, a lot of pop music isn't bad bad. Just way the duck overplayed when it first comes out. Not hearing a song every half hour makes it much more palatable. My 84 year old mother who still walks 3 miles a day and has all her wits about her. But life goals. Seriously, my 97 year old grandmother acts like a 79 year old, she still has all of her faculties, mental, physical, etc, still lives alone, still drives better than most other people, doesn't have any health issues, her father lived to be 105 and was perfectly healthy until 2 weeks before he died, definite life goal. Tetris, still addictive, I sometimes get hallucinations of falling pieces after playing. The earlier episodes of The Simpsons. Classic Simpsons are masterpieces when it comes to comedy. And even some gut-wrenching episodes as well. Bart gets an F was heartbreaking. I did my best and I still failed gets me every time, comma. The Twilight Zone. The series premiered in 1959 and so many of the episodes still hold up today because of its brilliant writing. Rod Serling was so far ahead of his time. Jurassic Park. I still think the visuals look great in that movie, even if it were to be released today. I prefer the animatronics in JP to all the CGI Chris Pratt movies, even though they move more fluidly blah blah blah. My brain still knows they're not literally there. It knows the animatronics are literally there in that first movie and likes that better. Reminds me of the old Star Wars I'm the same way. Aliens 1986. The Alien series is a lot like the Terminator series. There's only two of them. I was enjoying the latest Terminator. But then at one point I realized it's a complete rehash of T2. But simpler. Paul Rudd. He has a Dorian Gray picture hanging up somewhere. Calvin and Hobbes. My 9 year old recently discovered one of my old C&H collections. He has gotten every book the library has and just reads them over and over again. It's great when your kid loves something just as much as you did at their age. Read them again. Seriously. They hold up amazingly well and you see them from completely different perspective. Also, read about Bill Watterson and how he refused to sell out and turn C&H into the next Garfield. He literally turned down a couple hundred million dollars because he believed in the integrity of what he created. Pretty amazing and makes you appreciate it that much more. Megamind. The villain being a nice guy in Cell was absolutely ahead of its time. And I think now that we are farther away from Will Ferrell we can appreciate his role more now that it's not something oversaturated. The animation still looks amazing. And the music selection feels very reminiscent of both Shrek and Guardians of the Galaxy. The comedy doesn't feel dated at all. And very timeless. You could watch multiple times and learn something new every time. As I have. A lot. It's starting to get a lot more love now which is great because now I can talk about it with other people and not look batshit crazy. Seasons 1-3 of Spongebob. Classics to this day. Once upon a time there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everyone died. The end. That didn't help at all. Roger Federer. Still a top 10 player at 38. I think the Federer. Nadal, Djokovic hegemony over men's tennis is going to be in the record books. Those three have been in the top three for the last 15-ish years. 90s Japanese cars. Especially if they have pop-up headlights. Pop-up up and down headlights. Astronomer here. There is a star about 200 light years away from us called the Methuselah star which appears to be about as old as the universe itself. Specifically, the universe is thought to be about 13.8 billion years old, and the star is, based on its composition estimated to be 14.46 plus 0.8 billion years old. So presumably if you were on the side of that minus, it's younger than the age of the universe, but still, 
The fact that it's been shining for a good 13 plus billion years is astounding. For reference, our sun has been burning for about 4.5 billion years, and has about 5 billion more to go, so this star has already lasted longer than our sun ever will. Avatar The Last Airbender 15 years later and it still remains one of my top rated shows, it was such a well developed show and the lore was outstanding. Weird Al, celebrity after celebrity comes out with drug problems, abuse allegations, friends with Weinstein, and there's Weird Al, singing a coronavirus polka. I started listening to Weird Al when I was about 15. My kids are now the same age and they enjoy listening to his songs as well. The man is a funny irreverent and witty genius. Me. 70 on 4420. Down 140 pounds from 300. Walk 30 miles a week. Perfect EKG. Perfect blood work. Perfect blood pressure. Happier than I have ever been. Good for you. Lord of the Rings Trilogy. Still great. Also I enjoy the Rankin base version of The Hobbit. I wasn't around yet for the original Star Wars trilogy, but I sure am glad I was the perfect age to experience Lord of the Rings when it first came out. It was all me and my friends talked about. Betty White. Nodding in appreciation as my comment to the question is, The Golden Girls. It has aged better than Sex and the City. Art Nouveau. From the architecture, the jewelry, to the fashion. I find it all incredibly aesthetic. I'm an Art Deco fan. Myself. For me it's Art Garfunkel. Batman. The animated series. The series that invented Holly Quinn. I find that a few classic rock bands are still very popular with young people today. Bands such as The Beatles, Queen, Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, The Rolling Stones, ACDC, Metallica, Guns N' Roses and Nirvana especially are the most popular amongst my peers. Loud rocking guitars and whatnot will always be a timeless sound. It might not be the absolute commercially popular thing on the radio, but it will always be around. Definitely Rick Rolling. It has been a thing for about a decade and is one of the most popular memes and ways to troll on the internet. My 13 year old son has just discovered Rick Rolling. He thinks it's hilarious. His friends think he's NQR. Steve Carell. That man has aged like a fine wine. The first two Home Alone movies. They are still hilarious and very fun to watch after all these years. Anyone I know has watched them at least 2-3 times. Band of Brothers. Rewatched it again last weekend. You know it's great. But it's even better than you remember. The movie Young Frankenstein. It's hilarious. And isn't full of gags that are super offensive today. Movies like Airplane and Blazing Saddles are considered comedy classics. But they couldn't possibly be made today. Young Frankenstein absolutely could if there was a competent enough director and writing team around. Given what Always Sunny has been able to accomplish, I fully believe that Blazing Saddles could be made today. It however could not be made lazily. The Princess Bride. The Dark Knight movie from 2008. 12 Angry Men. It's over 60 years old and still a very great and compelling movie to watch in 2020. The movie Idiocracy. Heath Ledger as Joker. The first men in black. A person is smart. People are dumb. Panicky. Dangerous animals. And you know it. Terminator 2. Anytime I watch this movie, I think I am even more impressed with the practical and VFX they were able to pull off seamlessly in 1991. Horror movies. They're not as scary as they used to be, but the aesthetic is amazing. Beautifully creepy movies. Gaming as a whole. It's really evolved, and a lot of people play games. There's even a sports league based off of some of the games. Whoa. You made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal, smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh, it's free and that's a great price.